Hi everyone, Mirs here. In this video, we are going to take a look at using classes in Python. Let's get it started right now. Welcome back. If this is the first time that you're seeing my videos, make sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything. The syntaxes and semantics of Python classes is influenced by C++, Module 3, and small talk. A Python class is an entity that can hold data attributes and methods. Let's create a class. Okay, I'm using online Jupyter. We went through step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up your environment in the previous video. Okay, I'm creating a class. I'm calling this class pop. I'm creating a variable. This variable is qty and it has a value a random value signing as 12 ounces going to define a method I'm going to call it open open self and this method is returning a random value this value is ti zk shift enter I'm going to the next cell in the above class, qty is a class variable, a data attribute, and open is a method. A class is a blueprint from which objects of that class is created. To create an object, an instance of the pop class, we simply need to do p is equal to pop shift enter. p is an object, an instance of the pop class. Now, we can use the p object to access its attributes. QTY and open. Let's first go to the QTY. P dot QTY. Shift enter. Now we are seeing here that we can access the QTY value, which was 12 ounces, and it printed out for us the value. Now I'm going to go to open. P dot open. Shift enter. And here we are seeing the TIZK value. Note that open method has an argument called self. But in our call to this function, we didn't pass this argument. The self refers to the current object, in our case, p. So when we wrote p.open, the object p got passed as self to the open method. The open method can also be called like this. See, the value is exactly that random value that we created in the pop class, T-I-Z-K explanation mark. So our current pop class is pretty rudimentary. We can use the special init method to set additional attributes to the pop class object. Let's do that. Class pop qty equal to 12 ounces and let's define the init method self and three different arguments name and sugar level all right self dot brand is equal to brand self dot name is equal to name and self dot sugar level is equal to sugar level okay and if you remember we had another method which was called open return T I Z K explanation mark. Shift enter. Okay. The special init method gets called when an instance of pop gets created. The init for pop takes in three arguments that get set as instance variables brand, name, and sugar level. So let's add another method and let's call it show to display the data attributes of the pop object. Def and we're calling it show print
name package slash n going to the next row brand package slash n sugar level package slash n q t y package slash n okay we are using the format to specify the values self dot name self dot brand self dot sugar level and self dot qty shift enter and going to the next cell now with all of these methods that we have created our pop class looks like this let's write and see what we have right now class pop qty was equal to 12 ounces we created an init method which had arguments as brand name and sugar level it's easier to read for you and self dot brand is equal to brand self dot name equal to name and self dot sugar level equal to sugar level def and another method that we defined was um, show method def show self print name backslash slash n brand backslash slash n Backslash slash n sugar level backslash slash n q t y again back slash n to make sure that we are going to the next row dot format going to specify the values self dot name self dot brand self dot sugar level self dot q t y we define another function if you remember and it was called open so we are writing that as well and it was returning a random value which was t i z k explanation mark and so this is our class the pop class this is how it looks like after defining three methods within this class now to initialize our updated version of the pop class we'll have to specify arguments for the init method so let's jump to it we are defining a variable st pop and i'm going to specify values you can define any value that you want and put six down the last one 600 okay defining another variable and i'm calling it lf and for this one i will put random values as choco like like frost 750 so now I want actually to see the values the ST values and LF values ST dot show LF dot show and shift enter these are the values that we just created in here and you can see that each of them in different rows now that brings us to the end of this video I will add a URL to the description of the video and by clicking on that URL you will be able to see the code 
and the explanations. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and see you soon.